Hi, this is Vivi, and today we are going to do a school haul. So oftentimes I've watched school hauls for medical students or just for regular students, and many of the times it's either sponsored or it's unrealistic. Like you'll see people say like, oh, here's a planner. This planner is so fine. It's actually for $35, and it's like, who, who's your sugar daddy? If not, who's your sugar daddy? Who's your million dollar like parent and how much are you getting for financial aid because I'm not going to spend $35 on a notebook maybe on a textbook maybe on some scrubs but I'm not doing that for no notebook and then it's either that or they're like oh here's an application and if you load this application it's going to increase your likeliness of passing the exams you you go into it you have to pay like $5.99 every month it's unrealistic. This is going to be a cost friendly one. This is actually going to be quick. So make sure you see it. And also I'm going to post links um, under my info. So we're going to start off with the folders. I actually got them in several different colors. And this is by Five Star. And I got these from Target. And what I like about these is that they currently have the top. I don't know how to call this, but so if you have paper, it's secure because one of the things that used to drive me crazy when I was an undergraduate was when I had papers here and like no matter what I would do, it would just take that one moment where you, you have like your purse or your book bag and you get that little creak on it. I cannot stand It's that. plastic and it has like these things, like the holes punch. And it has the little metal things. I got it for less than a dollar. That That's probably... Drink if you hear me say less than a dollar, okay? Because I ain't playing with y'all. And these are like the good plastic ones. These are the ones where it's like if you go to your basement and you put your resume and stuff like that and you leave it, they last. I love these type of folders. They're simple and they're straight to a point. And this was less than $2.00. Next is going to be the five star college ruled wireless notebook. It is similar to the composition notebook, if you guys recall, the black and white one, but it's plastic. The material, just in case, it's plastic. And as you can see, I started writing in it because, girl, I'm not, <laughs> I've been studying. <laughs> I've been studying. So, this one has perforated sheets. And it also has holes, which is great, just in case you want to add like a big binder. And then, I mean, if you guys want to see, if y'all know Z, I actually wrote um, affirmations on this. And this one says, amazing, valuable, funny, determined, reliable, beautiful, worthy. Did I already say powerful? No, powerful, unique, and smart. And I also put a quote, a person who cannot give up anything can't change nothing it's actually a quote from attack on titans but i'm a big fan of it and it was something about that quote that definitely hit me because to go through the next stage of your life you have to be willing to give up something or willing to conform to the situation so i like that this again was less than two dollars i have this in several different colors i actually probably purchased about six in different colors and I put like some of them in like storage. So just in case I have like one of these. I, I know y'all heard that. Are, are, are you done? That's one of the reasons why I cannot stay here because it's always some type of unnecessary noise. But anyways, just in case I need to have an extra notebook for, um, a course that I'm taking at that time or if there's like no type of way like what we dealt with um, last year pertaining pertaining to the pandemic I'm able to have like some extra things so I'm not going crazy over finding a notebook next composition book old school this is actually not like the same material as the notebooks that I'm used to which is kind of disappointed because I actually missed the rough 
this is not rough and i felt like the material that they used to have used to be long lasting i'm sure this is as well but it feels much thinner and i don't know this is actually more durable since it has like that plastic for people who've had five star binders it's similar to that but this one is like like ah uh, this makes me worried like this is something in which i probably wouldn't put like a course in here but probably something like general or an emergency books but i trust those plastic ones because i live in new york city and the one thing that i'm worried about pertaining to buying supplies is just something that's weatherproof because it can easily snow or rain here so the next thing is going to be sharpie markers these were on sale less than two dollars and i feel like you can never get enough of these markers I don't know. Like, even if you have a highlighter, you're just like, I need a highlighter. Because for some reason, they go missing, like chapstick. You can literally purchase, like, five chapsticks, and the next week, it goes missing. This is something in which I already um, had. This is a post-it holder. And if you have, like, a double-sided post-it, you're able to just, like, take it out. I love these. Um, I actually purchased it for my office in my last apartment and it was just simple but I liked it because it kind of stacked everything together so I can just pull it out without those random post-its and stuff like this so this is nice to add in this was probably less than ten dollars and I got this from Amazon some staples that I found in the garage it is what it is this was probably like from grade school Listen, stop stop buying all these new things. Sometimes you go to your garage or ask your friends, which is another thing. If you have any older siblings or if you have like any older professionals, ask them. There are certain things in which they refuse to throw out. Like for example, who's gonna throw out brand new pens? Who's gonna throw out blank notebooks? If you ask these people, sometimes they have it. If you look into your stash in like your house, sometimes you'll see some notebooks in which your parents have saved. You see your stashes in which you have like crayons, you have highlighters and stuff. Think, think strategically. Staple from high school is good. This bowl from like Target, like for pencils. So you probably can call it like a pencil cup. This was definitely less than $5. I had this for my apartment. Might as well bring it to like when I'm at the temporary housing for medical school. Next is this one. And this is like a planner. Is it a planner? No, it's like a journal. Look at it. And the material is like similar to like my scarf. It's like a cotton polyester in which I was a big fan of it. And it's recycled water bottles with recycled paper pages okay and this is how inside looks yeah. so it has like nothing in it and i actually like this because i may use this for either inspiration or I'll, I'll find some type of use of it but i wanted to bring this one because they're the notebooks that i'm a hundred percent i'm a hundred percent sure that i'm going to use it for academic however I always need a small notebook just in case of a planner or just in case of like some type of exam. I think it's very essential to have like a small one. When it pertains to like planners and dates, my phone is usually the best because with Google Calendar, it can transfer from like different um, technological equipment. So you can go to your school computer, you can go to your iPad, you can go to your laptop, you can go to your phone. So I usually don't like put things like oh saturday at nine o'clock i'm going to do a mask no i have my phone for that this is some post-it notes that um i took from my old job yeah i took from my old job i didn't steal it i don't steal okay So this is like some post-its. Um, pencil sharpener, middle school, stapler, stapler remover, 
high school paper clips. I found it left over in the garage. Ooh, these are stacks. These are leftover pens. <laughs> I should be embarrassed, but I'm not embarrassed. Envelope opener. Don't know. I found it somewhere in the house. Random scissor. We always do that. Old highlighters and <laughs> pens from work. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. A whole bunch of pens in which... Listen, this pen is from high school. And I am 28. I think there's like a pencil. Yes! Oh my god! Let me show you guys. Just in case you guys think I'm lying. Look at this. Can you guys see that? I'll put it right here. Catholic School Week 2002. You guys think I was joking when I said that I saved like certain things in which I don't feel like I need to throw out. Like, why would I throw out a pencil? I would throw out something that's broken, but pencils and pens, if it still works, oh no. These, I can't even tell you where I got them from because this is high school when I had to like do drawing. These, just keep them, all right? Cause this saves so much money. And like I said, if you have any type of professional in your family or even people in which they may not be going to college, they're going to trade school. Please ask them because there are people in which they're gonna go into their garage and be like, all right, here. Here. All right. Oh, post it. Oh, this was actually on sale for like 50 cents. So when I saw like it was on sale, I was just like, I'll take it. Next. Next. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to figure out what was inside. A pencil? I think this is like a pencil case. The reason why it's like a quotation, it was an extra small purse in a Zara bag that I purchased. And I don't need this. Like this would be probably traditionally used as a makeup bag. However, I don't carry makeup like that. So I was just like, pencils. And it has that little click thing, which I love because I'm definitely going to connect it to my bag. So I'll never lose it because one of my fears of like going back to school is being that person where it's like, I don't have my number two pencil, my marker's not working, my pencil sharpeners. No, everything's going to be in one bag and it's going to be connected. So there should be no reason to why this bag detaches from my school bag. Okay. And inside is just some hand sanitizer. Actually, um didn't throw this one out because I purchased like a large um, Purell one, which is much cheaper. Just make sure you save like a small one and then just get like a jumbo one so you can just have it in your place. And then you can just, do you like my scarf? Yeah, I just wanted it to be simple. And I'm also practicing because when I'm wearing scrubs and just doing patient care and stuff, I just want to be able to be back and forth with people without my braids or my hair and then also because this summer i did a lot of protective style i can add even last year with like the pandemic i used to whoo my god the styles i was giving it giving it however i'm just tired and i also want to save money i want to make sure that i put myself in a situation where i'm not spending 150 $30 on hair, my nails. Oh my God. That was the biggest sacrifice of ever is to give up getting my nails done. But you know, everything, everything adds up. I mean, back in the day for $30, you can get your toes and your nails done. Now you're pushing to 50 and maybe a hundred if you want gel or a certain design. So I'm just like, okay, let me give this up so I don't put myself in a position where I'm looking amazing and I can barely afford textbooks because these textbooks are expensive. They're not cute. You will see a small notebook and you're just like, okay, all right, how much is it? 125 and you're just like, you're like, how much is it to rent? Oh no, that was the rental price, 125. How much is to buy? 
250. 